Hello, Coach K here, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how you can make uh, two delicious, savory, a savory and a sweet version of cashew sauce, okay? So we're going to start by putting our cashews um, in our bowl, in our, in our, I'm sorry, putting our cashews in the blender with one cup of water. Let's put the water in first. One cup of water. I think this is about two cups of cashews. Yeah. Yeah, so about two cups of cashews, starting with one cup of water. And the, the amount of liquid that you add is dependent on how thick or thin you want your sauce to be, okay? But we're gonna start with one cup and go from there. Let's do a blend on that. Okay, so your written recipe is going to say one and a half cups of water because this needs to thin out just a little bit more. When I make it, I typically don't, don't measure anything. I go by look, and it also depends on the recipe that I'm trying to create. So this is a half, actually I'm gonna do about a fourth, a fourth of that, and see what that looks like. Better to add a little bit at a time than too much. Let's see how this goes. So now I can tell by the way my blender is blending that it does need a touch more. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the rest of this in. So we will call that one and a half cups of our water. You want it blending smoothly. You can check it periodically. The amount of time it takes to, to get smooth is dependent on a couple of things. Um, one being whether or not you soaked your cashews in advance. I have done mine soaked for an hour or so. Sometimes I'll soak them for just 20 minutes. They don't need a long soak like some other nuts do. You can soak them for just 20 minutes in hot water and then add. So it's getting smoother, but we want it to be very smooth and cashews are so creamy and that's why they they are beloved for making everything from sauces to cheesecake all kinds of stuff all right so i'm gonna let this go i'm studying it now to look at my texture and seeing if i want to thin it out a little bit more and you could you go i could go a little bit thinner the main thing is I want to get it nice and smooth, okay? probably it if you're not using a Vitamix you may have to go longer and you'll be able to tell because it will have a nice glossy sheen to it and look nice and smooth all right 
You don't want any texture in there though. Now, what I'm gonna do is divide this into two different bowls. One bowl is for my sweet. I'm not doing equal parts because I personally don't want as much sweet. I'm going to be using the savory more. So I pulled out about four tablespoons. This is basically a, a cashew cream though at this point. Okay. I mean, anything guys, salad dressing, so many things could come from having this basic base. All right. So this is my sweet version here and we'll work with that in just a moment. Here to our savory version, we, we need the blender for this. We don't need the blender to add what we're adding to our sweet version. To our savory version though, we're gonna put in yellow bell peppers. All right, we're going to add the juice of a lime. All right. Get all that good lime juice in there. You want it to be tart. Okay. Oh yeah, I want all my stuff. Okay, then we're going to add a pinch of salt. Let's say a teaspoon. You, you need this to be on the saltier side because it tastes like nothing right now. It's very, very bland. So about a teaspoon of salt, you can add more to taste. Then we want about a half teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. You can also use a small piece of white onion as well. Then I'm going to put in um, about a half teaspoon of smoked paprika. Give me some smoky flavor. Okay, not much, a little less than a half teaspoon. All right, and then I'm going to put in a full tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Okay, just like that. Ay, 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 I have a thing with not putting like the very, very last, all right? And then I'm just gonna do a splash of um, coconut aminos because I love them. Okay, just a smidgy, makes everything taste better. That was probably about a tablespoon. And then we just blend it. Now we're blending up mainly that yellow bell pepper that's in there. So let's give it a go, it won't take long. I'm checking I'm not sure my yellow bell pepper is blending so let's make sure that it's getting it's actually getting chopped up yeah it is see sometimes the little pieces get when you're when you have uh, one little thing you're adding like this it doesn't blend it all the way up but what you would do if that happened to you is just pour out most of the liquid and then let it keep blending with just that little piece. That'll be all it has to work with. Okay. Okay, we're done. Now, you can also add a pinch of turmeric to this if you want to enhance the yellow color even more for like a mock cheese sauce. Um, I would call this a mock cheese sauce, okay? But that's it, it's done. Now, if I was doing um, like for nachos or something, I would definitely add a little turmeric to fool people. Now, I'm just gonna do a quick taste test. It tastes really, really good. It just needs a little bit more salt, but I can add that once we pour it in here. But this is this is this is it, y'all. This is delicious. So from from here, 
this sauce. Um, I made it, uh, this is the raw version, so then I would use it from everything from a dip for vegetables to adding it to my wraps. Um, you could thin it out a bit more and use it as a salad dressing if you desire. But all it needs is a pinch of salt and it's good. So yummy. Wow. Every time I make it, I'm like, wow, this is yummy. All right, so I'm just going to add another pinch of salt. If you're eating cooked foods, you could put this on um, uh, pasta. Be good there. And this could even use a bit more lime. So taste it. And if you feel like you want a little more flavor, just add a little more of everything. A little more, a little more lime, a little more salt, a little more onion powder. But it's done. Now you've got a creamy, dreamy sauce. And if you want to get fancy, y'all, you can even get one of these little squeeze bottles like they sell at the dollar stores and stuff. Put your sauce in there. And then when you're making things, you just drizzle it on. So you know I got to do that. Coach K has to do something a little special. I got to stand out from the other folks. Ha ha. So I'm setting this to the side and I'm going to show you the sweet version. So for our sweet version, keeping it very simple, we're going to do um, our sweetener first. Could use uh, an agave. Okay, start off small. A little less than a tablespoon there. Mix that in. I know it seems strange. Like what? Why would I add, you know, sweetness? To, but cashews are naturally sweet in themselves. And so when you make the other sauces, sometimes it'll taste a little on the sweet side and you don't want it to. Right? So it's na it's, it's a natural, um, it's, a, it's natural to go ahead and add in some sweetness with this. Next, we're going to add some vanilla extract. Make sure your vanilla extract is pure, okay? I'm going to do um, about a cap full, a little less than a cap full, so we'll say a half teaspoon. All right? Get that vanilla flavor in there. And then we're going to do a half of a lime. Okay, so half a lime in there. I'll probably put the other half in my other cheese sauce. You can always do that. Get a little bit more um, acid balance in there. So there's my half a lime. Then I'm going to do a very small pinch of salt. It just helps to balance the flavor, guys. Okay. And a dash of cinnamon just a dash if I could just get this dash to come out there we go that's what a dash looks like and then give it a stir okay and a taste yep it's yummy it tastes like, um, kind of like pudding, you know, but it's not exactly the pudding texture. The vanilla, the flavor is hidden. So two totally different ways. And depending on what you put these with, no one has a clue that they're eating cashews. So for this one, I would take and make a fruit salad, maybe with some apples in it, uh, some bananas, walnuts, grapes, and then put a dollop of this on top and stir it all together. Um, I would also use it just on top of my fruits, chop up some fruit, put a dollop, and then put some, uh, maybe some other nuts on top of that. So many uses for this. You could add it to your smoothie just for a little extra flavor uh, and enjoy it that way. So very yummy. I hope you enjoy these recipes and put them to use.